get it. Just doing it to pay for grad school. Please pay attention. My shades make my face look fat. Hey, sister. ¿Qué pasó, mija? I just made a thousand dollars. I see. I love it. There's a 1024 in Doherty involving a lot of drugs. Copy controller, I'm all over it. Not you, you just had a rehab. Almost lost my appetite. We A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. A world of possibilities. But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. Become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Hello? Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, I was thinking of visiting Colombia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Colombia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great! And long. <laughs> Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids your a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up crime families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep. Order! Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you've recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! 
Uh, no doubt. I love Manila. Had a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find inner peace. Awesome. I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel. Get away from it all. Get away from the people with computers in their databases. The police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great. Stop ruining it. Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. Paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to taking their picture. A few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedeston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick offense? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next call, hell. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. The sound is... Hey, don't hit my staff, you fool, man. Eyes forward. Huh? Hey, I'll have that now. Take off your blouse. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure him in. Trapping rogues. Heard about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget...